Hey everybody, Crazy Grandma here again. So I'm taking another one of those mini kits that I did last week and I'm doing a layout with them. So, another beach theme, another summer theme. The paper I'm using is the Echo Park Dive Into Summer Collection. And I'm using pieces of scraps to um, do this page with. I am using these pictures of the girls when they went to the beach, three of my granddaughters when they went to the beach. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my journaling because I don't want to put the journaling on the front because this is very busy paper. So I don't want to add the journaling to the front. So I'm going to add it to the back of the page. So what I do is I, oops, I throw the paper around first. Very key, key. Anyway, so I'm going to glue down three sides of this and then I'm going to put it in the middle of my paper up here and my piece that I'm going to write the notes on is going to come in here. I'm gonna have to trim that down just a little bit but that's not that's not that big of a deal. My eye sometimes would help if it would cooperate with me. Did I put it on the wrong way, maybe? Yeah, let me see. There's always embellishing opportunities here. There we go. I can always get a bigger piece of paper, too. Let's just try this. Maybe this one would... Yeah, that's definitely going to work better. Okay, so I'm going to put in... If I can get my tape to work with me here. I blame the tape, but you guys know it's not the tape. We all know. All right, so I'm going to put that in like this, and then my tab will slide in in here like this. So when it's turned over here, it'll be more like this. And so that we can see to pull the tab out so somebody knows it's there, I'm going to use a piece of washi tape. And I'm just going to put it, just a minute, I'm going to put it on here and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Make a little tab with it. God, my eyes are really not cooperating. Guys, I am so sorry. Give me just a second. There we go. Nope, I still didn't get it on there right. Not that it has to be all the way across, but there we go. And then I'm just going to fold it over like this. And I'm going to trim this piece here off the ends of it like this. And that way somebody will see a tab and know to pull it out. And then it just slides in in the back up here. And I always try to, I try to do this with, uh, when uh, I have my, before I put the, the layers and stuff on here. And I could measure and make sure it's all fixed up nicely, but you know, I know I just want to, there we go. And so you can see where the tab is. Now that that part is done, Let's check out this page. Let's share this memory for these babies. So this is the other paper. Like I said, both of these are Dive Into Summer with from Echo Park. I will go back afterwards and glue this down. I am just going to glue the kind of the it around here in case I want to do tucking or something later on. So there's going to be the basis of my page. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use more scraps with the, for these tabs. This paper is the reverse, so I know it matches. So I'm going to put a tab. I'm going to put these little tabs right up here at the top. I'm going to put another one over here on this side. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. And then I have a piece of yellow paper. So I could really use either side, but this is the side I'm going to use the I'm going to use the yellow side because I do want to bring out some more of this yellow, and I'm going to bring that up a little bit. And I'm going to do another one just like this at the bottom. And I cut the little notches out again, and I'm going to put another one right down here. You <laughs> should have seen when I first started doing this. I'm trying to figure out how I want these pages laid out. And when I started doing it, I had these things laid up. I had these things upside down. 
trying to figure out why they didn't look right because one was upside right and this one was upside down. I'm like, oh my God, Ruthie May. All right, so that's gonna be where I'm gonna put the tabs. And that brings out all the colors in this page here. Now the pictures I'm going to use, I did cut them down to, I think they're three by threes. And I'm going to line them up diagonally. I like this, I'm gonna put this one here because it has my youngest granddaughter and her mom in there. And it's got, so since it's got two of them, we'll put them in that. So that's gonna be the layout of my pictures. I'm just gonna use these, th these little tabs here on the back. I'm just going to put two of them on there for now because I can do more later. Fight with getting the thing off the back of it. Oops. <laughs> Let's put it upside right. I'm going to put that like, like that one. And let me do the other two. Today's the last day of school for two of my grandbabies and three of them were finished yesterday and the other three don't get out of school until next Wednesday because they started a little bit later. Some of the kids start a couple of days before the holiday. The others start a couple of days after the holiday when school starts. So I'm going to put that one there. And then I got one more here. Okay, get my fingers working. There we go. So there's the basics. Now I'm gonna finish decorating this thing up. So I have a bunch of things over here that I could use that came out of the Echo Park um, books and that kind of thing. So my title is going to be Summer. And I think I'm going to try this up here. And I do have some other things I'm going to put other words and stuff I put on here. I'm going to put on here. And I have this one here that says time to have the beach party. They were actually at a lake, but they're still the same thing. I'm going to put that, I think, down here at the bottom. And I will have to reinforce these because, like I said, I do end up taking some of the um, adhesive off the back of it when I get ready to do it. Now I have this chair. I thought about sitting on this right about there. And I have what says catch a wave. And I like the kind of that it's got the red in it. So I'm going to put that, I think, here. And let's see here. Instead of having it say catch a wave, I want to put catch summertime memories. Because I don't, you know, there's, they're uh, pulling on the back of the boat. There's really no waves at the lake. So I'm going to put that like that, I think. And then I have this inner tube, which is what they're kind of riding on there. I'm going to decide if I want that up here. Maybe I'll put it back here with this chair. Just to add a little pop of color down there. And I have a butterfly. Everybody likes catching butterflies in the summertime. So I'm going to put that up there just as a little joke. <laughs> and I have some other little signs and some sunglasses and different things that I'm going to try. I could put these sunglasses over here. No, I don't think I like that. So let me just let me get one of these books out. This is the the sticker books that I was telling you guys about. And I got these for four dollars. They normally like I think fourteen to sixteen dollars, something like that normally. But I'm just trying to I like the they they have really good uh stickers on there. We could do a we could do something like this, or the butt, or the beat. We already have a chair, so we don't want a chair. And then it repeats. So let me grab another one. 
oh, oh, drop everything. All right. So we have a surfboard. That's really not going to work. Oh, look at the crab. I don't know. I just think he's cute. Yeah. Maybe not. Let me just keep looking. We'll figure out something. You, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We have a turtle. We may have to move this summer down just a little bit to get him on there. This is why I take some of the sticky off before I, before I use them. Because the only thing about it, he is looking off the page and sometimes that can draw the eye away from, away from the page, you know, but... All right, little guy, come on. You gotta work with me. I do like summer over on top of this. I wish that was turned the other direction. I wonder if I put him down here and I put catch, catch a summer memory. I'm gonna play around with this for a minute. I hope you guys stick around and see how that ends up. Let's see if we put this down here. And then we have this, the, the turtle up here. Yeah, that's going to be better. Only because, like I said, I don't want the turtle to be going to be looking off of the page because that's going to kind of defeat the whole purpose of him being on there. You want, the, you want it to look on the page and not. But now I just don't think that butterfly looks that good right there. So let's just play with this a minute. Maybe. All right. Come on, Ruthie May. Figure out what you want. A lot of times I used to try to get these things figured out before I did my, my thing. But, you know, there's just times you just want to do a page. We have sunglasses here. No, I don't think I like that. Oh, look at this tiny dirt. It's a stamp, though. How cute. Oh, I will have to use that for something else. All right, let me get rid of that. and Let me see where I'm, if I'm going to put this butterfly on here or not. Maybe if I put it down a little bit there. Oh. Sorry about that, guys. Dogs decided to, to bark at something. You know what? I am going to take that off and let's... Okay, everybody, sorry about that. Dogs decided to bark at the last minute that I was trying to finish this page up. So I want to just see. I decided to put just catch a wave and then the butterfly up here. And I'm trying to decide if I want anything else on here. I do have some other um, phrases. Like this one says, hello, sunshine. That I'm thinking about lining up. Like here. This one says... Splash into sun, splash into summer, and then because I want to try to get a red one in here too, it says seize the day. But I do think maybe I should take this one here, this coral looking color, and put it up here. Move the yellow one in between because that color is so close to each other. There we go. Now, what do you think? Does it need something else? Oh, it's got a glare. Sorry about that, guys. You know, it's a fun, colorful layout. I don't think that it needs a lot more of necessarily anything in here. I'm wondering if I, instead of the butterfly, if I want an ice cream cone or something in here. Because it just looks more like summer. And then I have a couple more that I can put over here. Just to make it look more like a summer page. Let's see here. Oh, I do kind of like that one there. There we go. Let me see if if maybe I'd like this better if it's someplace else. No, I think I'm gonna leave it there. Got to kind of go with it. I like the page. Sometimes I feel like it needs something else, but what I will do is I will look at this for a little bit. 
I will come back on here in a few minutes and I will see, okay, do I like the page? Does it, do I need anything else in there? And the answer is probably going to be no. I just have to trust the process, trust my judgment. And what I do is I am going to take all of the pieces of paper that I have from this layout and the layout I did before. This is the, this is the other one that I did just recently. I'm going to take all the paper that's left from these all the scraps, all the paper that's left, and the paper from the kit that I have not used yet, that I didn't put, and I'm gonna put it all together, and I'm going to put it in the, my summer collection, just like this. So when I have another summer layout, I have more scraps and stuff already in summer that I can use to pull, to, to use that, to, to use that up. I hope this helps you guys. I'm gonna clean up my room and work on another layout. I hope this helps you guys, bye.